think people are offended today well strap in because in the early 90s i was very offended by the use of british actors as the bad guys in all american action films so people say it started with alan rickman portraying the most evil bastard ever in die hard but i will give you stephen burkoff in any film he's done but particularly eddie murphy's 1984 beverly hills cop or is he he's not even mentioned he's a bad guy but he also popped up a year later in First Blood Part 2 and many other films. He was that bad guy because, well, he was a British actor. He was playing well, a Russian in, not sure what he was in Beverly's Cop. But we also get Brian James's portrayal as a cockney in uh, Tango and Cash. Bloody Dutch. So that came out, what was that, 89? So that's a year after Die Hard. Portraying the British in a very bad light. And then you get, worst of all, poor Joss Ackland playing a South African in apartheid days with his diplomatic immunity. But, to add insult to injury, he's the bad guy in Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Was that the year later? Two years later. But, not even on the cover or the rear. For shame. Then we also get other films that followed on the trend with Bruce Payne in Passenger 57. And even roping in Paul is early on then, on it? And it didn't stop there. We had Craig Fairbass, as the uh, Cockney football fan, soccer fan, sorry, in uh, Cliffhanger. Charles Dance in Last Action Hero, who apparently was cheaper than Alan Rickman, and he had t-shirts to prove it. Michael Caine in On Deadly Ground. I'm not sure if he was supposed to be American, but he was a British actor, slumming it, and finally Stuart Wilson in Lethal Weapon 3, and no escape after this, but yes. Uh, so there's three or five excellent British actors resorted to being the villain in some American action film. Well, whew, I need to calm down. I got a cup of tea. Right, thanks for watching. Here endeth the lesson. There's nothing better than hanging out with your best friends chatting horror movies. At Voices from the Mausoleum, we have programming that covers everything from found footage to gaming, interviews, and even the first horror morning talk show. Come join us. We're all friends at the Mausoleum.